Let's talk some Alabama recruiting. We got the great Andrew Bone from Bama Online on this video. We got a couple major developments with the Tide in their recruiting that we got to cover today. But first, hit subscribe to the On3 Recruits channel. This is the best recruiting channel on all of YouTube, and we love talking Alabama recruiting. So jump on board and hit subscribe. All right, let's bring on Andrew Bone. Now, we got to cover some big news that went down on Monday night. The number one Juco edge in America, Cavante Henry, visited over the weekend and committed to Alabama Monday night. How did all this go down so quickly from the visit, and what does he bring to this roster? Well, it was a visit that was kept under wraps, uh, and Alabama had kind of planned it that way. They were trying to flip him away from his commitment to Mississippi State, uh, been committed to Mississippi State since the summer, but uh, Alabama's been recruiting him for a while. He has a relationship with Courtney Morgan, which stems back to when Courtney Morgan recruited Kevontae Henry to Michigan back in 2021. But then Courtney leaves, goes to Washington. Kevontae ends up flipping from Michigan to Oklahoma. And now it's, it's kind of come full circle with, uh, with a flip from Mississippi State uh, to Alabama on Monday. But, yeah, I mean, big visit uh, or Big visit for him this past weekend uh, in Tuscaloosa on an official. Um, you know, Alabama really likes his size. Six foot four, 245 pounds. Is an edge rusher, but Alabama's recruiting him for that bandit position on their defensive front. They really feel like uh, he can make a big impact, sort of similar to what uh, LT Overton's been able to do uh, at Alabama this uh, this season. So I think it's a great pickup for Alabama. It gives them three defensive line commitments in this class, including two from the junior college ranks. Uh, so they're really excited about what they've been able to, uh, to put together so far. All right. Now, big flip went down on Monday, but I want to talk about two targets that could be flipping away from the tide. We're talking Dijon Lee and Caleb Cunningham. Both took visits. Uh, Dijon Lee was at UGA. Caleb Cunningham was at LSU. So, Andrew, what is the level of concern here for Bama fans? I think anytime you start seeing your recruits take visits elsewhere and continue to take visits elsewhere, um, you know, you start to get a little bit concerned. But with John Lee, we kind of knew that going into the season, he was going to take some visits. Now, this uh, this trip to Georgia, he's got a trip to uh, Texas A&M uh, next month. Those visits were planned about two months ago. So it was planned prior to Alabama's okay. loss uh, to Vanderbilt. So it wasn't necessarily a reaction to that. Right. We talked to John about uh, his commitment status with Alabama. He still seems very solid with the commitment. Now, he does have a great relationship with Dante Williams, defensive backs coach at Georgia, and that's really what has kept them in uh, in the mix for him. But as of right now, it seems like he's very solid uh, with Alabama, just enjoying the process, enjoying some games. Now, with Caleb Cunningham, I feel like he's gone to a different school every single week. It's probably <laughs> a good thing he's not going to uh, the same school every single weekend, yeah. but he is. Uh, he is getting out there, going to see in different places. Went to LSU this past weekend. He's going to Mississippi State. He's got some other uh, trips uh, on deck. But as far as Alabama is concerned, you know, he's always been pretty straight um, straight up on where things stand. He says Alabama's uh, still in a good spot for him. That's where he wants to go. He still considers himself a solid commitment. And he's always been upfront about the uh, the visits elsewhere. He hasn't kept anything under wraps, hasn't you know taken any secret trips anywhere like right. that. So. Uh, we're going to continue to watch that pretty closely, continue to monitor it. I think as long as he's back in Tuscaloosa for the Iron Bowl, um, you know, a few days before he signs, that's going to be uh, good for Alabama. But, you know, there are some other guys in Alabama's class that are still taking visits. Anthony Rogers, uh, who's been committed to Alabama since last summer, uh, committed to the previous staff. He's been taking some visits. Took an official to Georgia this past weekend. Uh, is going to take a visit to Ohio State. Hasn't set up an official to Alabama yet, so you know, kind of intriguing to see what happens there. Alabama did get a commitment back in August from the number two running back in the country, A.K. Deer. And uh, Harry Dalton, who is committed to USC, has still been uh, discussing a potential trip back to Tuscaloosa this season. So going to be interesting to see how you know, maybe it ends up with, uh, with Alabama's second running back in this 2025 class. All right, enough talking about prospects that Alabama might lose. Let's get back to talking about who they might gain. What's the latest on cornerback Ivan Taylor? Is he expected back in Tuscaloosa? Now, Taylor is committed to Michigan and was in town a couple weeks ago. There's a lot of buzz around that recruitment, but since then, what's been going on? Yeah, so with Ivan Taylor, you know, this is a kid that Alabama heavily recruited back in the summer and in the spring. Mm -hmm. Committed to Notre Dame, took an official visit to Alabama in June, and there was a lot of buzz 
on Alabama after that trip. But then he takes a visit to Michigan, ends up committing to the Wolverines, but Alabama did not stop pursuing him. He was in Tuscaloosa for the Georgia game. You know, spoke highly about his visit, so he's still in d- daily contact with the Alabama coaching staff. One thing to note, Alabama does not have a safety in its class right now, and he is one of their right. top overall target, so they're certainly putting uh, you know a lot of heat on him. So I think if they can get him back for another game day visit, um, you know that's going to be huge, especially if he visits with his mom. Uh, on the Georgia visit, just came up with his dad, so they'd like to get mom back on campus and see how things go uh, in that regard. But Ivan Taylor is certainly still very much in play for Alabama. Mm. All right, Alabama fans, how are we feeling heading into this week? No recruiting this weekend as Bama goes on the road to Tennessee. So, Alabama fans, talk to us. How many points did the Tide win by on Saturday night? Let us know. Comment section below.